hey guys i am back with another video and in this video we are going to build a complete application this is going to be a desktop application using dotnet maui and xaml okay and we are going to use sqlite for the database <clears throat> all right so this is a, a simple restaurant pos application okay and this is built for windows desktop and mac os desktop all right so this is the application let's quickly see a demo so we have this home screen where we have all the menu items with menu categories Hold on, let me move it a bit so that you can see the entire screen all right so we have categories we can click on the categories it will load up menu items for that particular category only all right this is the main screen and in right section we have this current order where we are displaying the current date and time okay and this is dynamic component reusable component we are reusing it at some other places as well and this is a separate control and this is you can see this is showing time in real time with all the seconds update and all this and then this is a section where we will have our current order so let's start adding items so we have the shopping bag icon you can click on it or we can directly click on this item it is going to add these items in the current order screen all right from here we can cancel this current order and we can see this tooltip as well here so cancel then it will ask for confirmation if you want to cancel this order if you press no nothing will happen if we press yes then it is simply going to cancel the order and all those items are going to be removed from here all right now let's try adding something i'm adding this beer one item we can increase and decrease the quantity from here we can remove this particular item from here as well here also we have this tooltip text let's close it uh, clear this item from this current cart we could say it is not here let's quickly add a couple of items from different categories all right let's say for pizza this pizza slice it is right now 2.99 and quantity is one if i'm going if i'll uh, click on it again in this main screen you see the quantity is getting updated all right and pay attention on this screen as well right now this is 37.4 is subtotal and tax is two percent this also we can modify i'll show you in a bit so tax is two percent so on this two percent is 0.75 and the total is 38.15 if i press on this pizza slice again so you see quantity updated to five subtotal got updated tax got updated and total amount got updated so everything is calculating in real time whenever we are making any change it is actually updating all the relevant information let's remove this chocolate from here we have this remove this item from cart if i will press it you see that item got removed from here and all these counts tax and total all these got updated all right now let's do a couple of other things if we press minus if the quantity is one that means quantity is zero that means that item does not belong in this current order cart it will be removed from here you can see it right now okay let's add it again and now we are good after that we can cancel and if we want to modify the tax item tax percentage we can click on it and it will open up a prompt here under the applicable tax we can apply the tax amount let's say 10 percent and if i press ok this is going to be updated and all the count subtotal tax amount and total amount these are also going to be updated now this tax this is saved in the device now if we open this uh, this application again this tax amount is going to be saved this tax percent is going to be saved all right now let's uh, con con continue this order let's say place this order so we have two options cash or online this we can use it for uh, some auditing purpose we don't have payment integration in this because that payment could be from some other uh, system software some other machine so let's say this order they gave cash so order place successfully if we press ok now this item is removed from here and everything is fine we can again use some other order all right now in this left 
menu bar we have these three options one is home second one is this order screen where we have orders couple of orders right and this screen is divided into the same two parts in right section we will show selected order items right now we have this view items button or we can click on this thing okay so any of the row if we click on it from this grid it will directly show those items in the selected order items that this was placed at this date this time to total amount was this payment mode was online five items were there in this order and what were those five items those we can see here one donut two energy drink two nachos one pizza slice one snacks and all these things all right and if we click on it again then that selected order items are going to be removed so we can toggle this we can select any other items or we can remove the selected order item by clicking on this as well now we have one more option that is for menu managing menu items so right now if you see on home screen we have this main top section where we have categories and on this last manage menu here also we have the category you can feel is similar these items are similar so we are actually using re reusable controls we have created custom reusable controls which we are using at multiple places <clears throat> and this this section is also same but there is with with a small difference on home screen we have the shopping bag icon but with manage menu items we have this pencil icon because from here we can edit the item all right now in the right section here save menu item and this date and time this is the same control this is also a reusable control we are using it at two different places in home screen and in this manage menu screen all right from here we can create a new menu item enter name picking an image entering short description saving the price and then we can select multiple categories that that particular menu item belongs to which category then we have cancel and save buttons same thing we can simply edit any item from here as well so right now i am editing coffee so it populated all these data we can change it let's say not 1.99 I want to see 1.49 and I want to remove it from deserts. Okay, right now let's go to deserts. Here we can see this coffee is in desert and beverages. So if we go to beverages, here also we can see coffee. Let's come to this desert screen. We are here right now. If I remove this desert and I save it, you see we have this nice toast message. And now coffee got removed from deserts screen in real time because now. We have updated that that coffee does not belong to this deserts category. But if you go to beverages, it should be here. Where is it? It is here with the updated price 1.49. So these things are also in working in the real time. We could say we can create and edit menu items. Then we have one more last option at the very bottom, which is help. We can click on it. So this is a simple pop up. I know this looks ugly, but I am not a very good designer, but yeah, it can work. We have this need help. You can connect with us. We have our email ID and contact number. We have this click to copy button. So when we click on it, it is going to copy to the clipboard and we can use it directly anywhere. Same thing for this click to copy. So now it is copied. Then we have this design and developed by a appearance. We can click on it and it will move us to the my YouTube channel. All right, we can close it from here. All right, so this is the application we are going to build. And let me show you one more thing. So I have tried to do whatever functionality I have. I have tried to completely implement it. So for example, let's say I have this cocktail, coffee, orange juice. Coffee, two quantity, 1.49, or maybe let's say orange juice, three quantity. All right, right now orange juice with three quantity, and with this 15.95, 1.6, 17.55, this is the total thing. Now, if I go to the manage menu and there, if I made any change to this orange juice, right now the price is 2.49, right? So we'll see it is going to update the price icon image, this name, description, everything in this view, in this current cart items and this amount calculation. It will update everywhere. Let's go to 
this beverage is very sure and juice is here let's say instead of 2.49 i'll make it 2.99 okay save it menu item saved successfully if i go to home screen 2.99 with three items with amounts updated and here also 2.99 amount got updated so everything is in real time all right now we can see this tax is coming from this okay let me do this let me close this we made that update we can skip this this is just for debugging and if i stop it and if i run it again the tax amount i should see that 10 percent because that is what we updated right so this 10 percent you see this is getting saved in the device and orders this is coming from sqli database all these items are coming from sqli database all right after that we can close it and now what i'll do i'll simply uninstall this application install it again so that i can show you from where that name is coming when we run this application the we can see this hello up happens this name so from where this name is coming when we open our application for the first time it asks for our name let's quickly see this because right now it is saved so we will not be able to see this but let me uh, uninstall the app and try to install it again okay let's start it again now it will install a fresh instance and you see we have this hello without any name and we have this your name now this name is required if i press cancel it will keep on asking me my name i need to provide you can see we can cancel it but name is required so it will not allow us to go further we need to enter our name let's say i entered my name okay and now we can see hello and by the way the proper validation is also there all right now this tax is zero percent orders will be empty because we have installed the app so the the sqlite database and everything was gone all right so this is the application we are going to build in this video all right do let me in the comment what do you think about this application do you like this application okay i'm very excited let's jump straight to building this whole application